profile, all new at 6 right now. A Wink News investigation. Only Wink News uncovered new documents connected to the sex scandal at South Fort Myers High School one year ago, including student written statements. A group of boys had sex with a 15 year old girl in a bathroom on campus. That girl also wrote a statement, but we decided not to show her statement or go into specific detail so as not to re victimize her. However, her account of what happened seems to indicate she was not a willing participant. That raises the question of whether the boys committed a crime and how law enforcement handled it. I've seen information that would suggest to me that there should have been a more thorough and ongoing investigation of what took place in that bathroom. Wait News reporter Michelle Kingston has the exclusive investigation. I went to the restroom and got my private part and watched. I entered the restroom and saw in the stall participating in oral sex. Only Wink News obtained these statements written by South Fort Myers High School football players one year ago today. We brought them to school board chair Mary Fisher. They have admitted in writing to what happened in that bathroom. I know nothing about any of those particulars. These statements coming from just some of the young teenage boys who were caught in a bathroom after school with a female student, admitting to having sex with her. I laughed a little. I went in there with Han. She gave me. According to new documents, Wink News obtained 26 student athletes left study hall and went to the bathroom. One of them for 52 minutes. Another one made five trips to the bathroom in less than an hour. Five of the boys were suspended, 12 others disciplined. But reports show the district only recorded these six statements. Did the school district, do you think, adequately deal with what happened? I, I think we did. I think, and we continue to deal on a daily basis. With, safety is a primary focus of this school district. A student videoed the sex acts and shared it on social media. And they sent it out like wildfire. William Scott, who was 16 at the time, was charged with cruelty towards a child, allowing a child to engage in a sexual act and possession of obscene material for videotaping the incident. Wink News checked, and one year later, Scott is still the only one who faced any criminal charges. Why has only one student been charged when mm -hmm. all those other student athletes admitted in writing mm -hmm. to their involvement? We took the case to law school professor Ken Nutt to analyze. Uh, I'm not sure that there's a sufficient evaluation of the totality of circumstances in this case that we can say that the sexual assault conduct uh, should not have been uh, uh, charged as well as the charge uh, for the videotaping. Scott entered a juvenile diversion program, but Wink News has learned he is no longer in that program due to noncompliance. The state attorney's office is now actively reviewing a new case against him. They would not go into further detail because he's a minor and would not confirm if this new case was related to the bathroom incident. In fact, they say the Lee County Sheriff's Office has not presented any new evidence at all in the South Fort Myers High School case in the past year. There's sufficient evidence to me that criminal activity took place in that bathroom. And the, the question is, does the Sheriff's Department, does the school district, uh, does the state attorney's office in the state take this seriously enough to investigate it at the level that it should be investigated. These new documents say the mother of the victim felt the incident was avoidable. She says she didn't request to close the investigation, but according to this email from a detective working the case, it was complete on July 6th, just seven weeks after the incident occurred. And according to this email, no school staff was ever interviewed or questioned during the sheriff's office investigation. And despite attempts for students and parents to keep head football coach Anthony Dixon at South, he was fired in August, but then reinstated at James Stevens International as a paraprofessional. Some of the students involved in the sex scandal also moved schools. At least five of the boys involved were sent to the Alternative Learning Center for just under two months before the South Fort Myers High School principal welcomed them back with a picture on Twitter in October. Do you think this needed to be looked at further than it was? I think it does. It's unknown where the other student athletes who wrote these statements are now, but one thing is clear. Aside from William Scott, they have not been charged. At South Fort Myers High School, Michelle Kingston, Wink News Now. The Lee County Superintendent of Schools declined to comment on this story. We asked, but were unable to get an update on the new safety and security task force they created after this bathroom incident occurred. The school district released a statement that said, in part, 
As the year has progressed, multiple district teams have visited schools to evaluate and strengthen those plans, upgrade equipment, and make adjustments based on the school's layout and overall needs. We know these protocols are working because of the number of incidents we're finding. As we've previously stated, we cannot undo what happened last May, but we can learn from it, grow from it, and be stronger and more unified because of it. That's what we have done. School Board Chair Mary Fisher says safety protocols have been revised and they're providing training for their staff. We feel like we are making every effort, as we always have done, to keep our schools safe for our students. And Week News reached out to the victim's mother and attempted to reach the parents of the students involved, but we didn't hear back. The Lee County Sheriff's Office was unable to provide us a statement on the investigation by airtime. Do you think the school district handled the investigation appropriately? We'd like to hear from you. Join the conversation on the Week News Facebook page.